Hello, Magic Casters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into this 79th episode of our second level spell series also the final episode of this series until they add in some more content which i have no doubt that they're going to but still kind of a big milestone and today we are taking a look at zone of truth which sounds kind of like a game show name to me so it's kind of funny in any case this spell is usable by the bard cleric and the paladin and it is found in the good old player's handbook and it is a truly righteous spell this is one of my all-time favorite spells in terms of roleplay potential and really flexing that creative brain it's also a great way of being able to turn the it's what my player would do back on the characters because there's a lot of metagaming elements that often happen with this spell and it is your job as a good dm to snuff those out as soon as they come out but in any case let's take a look at the spell's mechanics to figure out exactly how it works the effect at a glance reads as followed on a failed save creatures within the area cannot tell a deliberate lie targets are made aware that they are affected so yeah take from that what you will the cast time is one action the range is 60 feet but the actual area of effect is a 15 foot radius sphere which is actually pretty decent the duration is 10 minutes and this is not a concentration spell hallelujah the saving throw is charisma and on the success there is no effect which makes sense the components are verbal and somatic and the school is enchantment which also makes a lot of sense now let's take a look at the full description and break this spell down a little bit further. You create a magical zone that guards against deception in a 15 foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw. On a failed save, a creature can't speak a deliberate lie while within the radius. You know whether each creature succeeds or fails on its saving throw. An affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it would normally respond with a lie. Such creatures can be evasive in its answers as long as it remains within the boundaries of the truth. Very interesting stuff. I see a lot of players use this as a cop-out, but it is your job as a good DM to be able to counter that by talking your way around the question almost. A good example of that is when you're dealing with a demon that you think might have killed a king, let's say for example. It makes sense for you to just ask the demon if he killed them, but the demon would be like, I was not there when he died. When in reality the demon did stab him, did kill him, but left the room before the king died. Or the demon could just outright say, no, it was not me who killed him, because it was the dagger that actually did the killing, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how I like answering it, and it's quite effective, because it really, like, stumps the party a little bit, and then they're like, oh wait, I'm dealing with the demon. Maybe there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. Um, that's kind of my way around it. That being said, though, let's take a look at some alternative uses here. So I think one of the best ones is using it to make sure what you're being promised is actually what's going to happen. Um, so use it on influential figures or quest givers or things of that nature just to check the validity of their statements. Um, outside of that, this is a great spell to be used for planning out encounters. And by that I mean like more so reconnaissance, things of that nature. Along that same vein of thought, this is just a great way of gathering information of all shapes and sizes. Uh, if you're building a profile on someone to better solve a murder mystery, for example, this is a great way of questioning everyone else to get a better full piece of the picture, really. Uh, like just use process of elimination as opposed to just asking a direct question. It's for that reason that this is one of my all-time favorite role-playing spells. Now, if you can come up with any alternative uses, ideas, stories, thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, please put them beneath in the comment section. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you like that cool hand-drawn rendering of Absurd and you like your own hand-drawn D&D character, please check out the guild hall to figure out exactly how to do that. That being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy spellcasting, everyone.